Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to play Elite Dangerous with me. So, um, I'm just gonna turn the music down on this game a little bit. Just a moment. There we go. So, today's plan is to uh, do something that was designated as the Cannon Tour. And uh, it was basically a like year, two years ago. It was a collection of all sorts of landmarks uh, we've been finding in game as a community. And the uh, idea was that the new players could easily go and see everything. But uh, it was supposed to be like an event, have like an expedition going on, but it got canned because uh, nobody would find the time and stuff. So I figured, well, since I'm streaming Elite on Tuesdays, might as well do a couple hours of it every time and see what's what. And yeah. So let's see. We have a contact on our radar already. Go and wing invitation from Commander Engelo. Okay, so <clears throat> our uh, first target is the uh, the crashed pirate ship on the Karen. The uh <laughs> yeah, I guess not Engelo. So in Karen, there's a uh, it's a Little, if you did know, it's the uh, dwarf planet near uh, Pluto. Uh, there's a crashed pirate ship, so let's go check it out. So I already am at the location, and uh, yeah, this is the thing. Because I should have actually taken the SRV here, <laughs> but. Um, Basically, when the Horizons was uh, launched, there were like these random codes in the game showing uh, like uh, wrecks and such. And uh, this was the first one in Seoul. So, seems like somebody had a bad day in their anaconda. Hello, Valium and Jen. So yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a rough terrain. And I don't want to crash on the cliffs. <laughs> no, just starting. This is the first place where it's like a landmark in this game. Well, in this tour. Yes, it's the stupid cliffs. <laughs> <coughs> But yeah, anyways, not very much to see here, but I figured it's a good starting point. <coughs> and from here, we will be moving on. Basically, it was just to see if uh, anyone wants to join me on this this tour. And we only have this one ship flying above. Actually, let's go check it out what that uh, radar blip is. Need to, the night vision, can't see anything. Ah, lasers. I bet that was Engelo. No, it's it's not new. It's a couple of years old. Oh, the night vision. Yeah, well, uh, I, I can't remember when it was introduced. But uh, oh, we have a wounded ship. Angalo, you want the honors? Yeah. 
Wrath of the Cobras. I, I, I can't remember. It was a couple updates ago when the night vision was introduced, I think. This one down and let's go see the um, next stop on this uh, route. So we are heading for Charik Drift. It's a uh, white dwarf system. So let me just broadcast the um, The names, so Angelo sees where to follow. So. Yeah. Okay. This is parts f <laughs> falling off from the NPC. <coughs> so, of course, the target is a little bit behind the planet, <laughs> have to go around. But no worries, we'll just take some uh, space, well, distance from the terrain and uh, we can go around easily. But yeah, th this, um, there was like, I don't know, there's quite a few of these things where uh, the devs like hit the code in the, some news broadcast or something like on the stations well not broadcast it was basically a wall of text but you have to solve it and um, it would give you the coordinates and such and you, then you find come to the planet side and find something though now it's much easier since the, uh, you can just scan the whole planet and it will show you everything there is But yeah, as I said, it was made for the uh, when there was no such systems. So, so here we go, a uh, nice white dwarf. These beam thingies, sprays or whatever you want to call them, they will kill you if you're not careful. But they can also just boost your FSD so you can jump <laughs> you can jump a lot further, so basically you go in there and then your ship loses control. Drive it will damage your ship a little bit. But where's the, there we go. So now I can jump further on my next jump. Get away from this, it's just bouncing my ship all over. So, let's see, in here we have a generation ship Atlas. Uh, generation ships they were added in the um, well they started at them on 2016 I think that was the time and every now and then somebody stumbles into one and uh, they usually contain some sort of story what happened to them so technically they are like spaceships that were sent on their way before um, there was like a hyperdrive so. okay, I have to go closer to scan the thing with the data link scanner and not my uh, Discovery scanner, which is also called honking when using that. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, did we have to have weapons deployed? I totally forgot. <laughs> Either one. Nope. Come on, scan. Okay. I'm doing something wrong. God, I didn't have it targeted. It's silly me. Okay. okay so. <laughs> so, let's see. We scanned the ship, and now there should be, um, like a. Yeah, uplinks. So, five total. And after we get this, I'll play the story. Just have to use the night vision, because. Even in future, it's always dark. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I do not remember what the defaults are, but I guess you hit silent running because your shields went down. Yeah, these things were like a nice little addition to the game. Right? And that tongue was the Discovery Channel scanner going off because it's on the same button as my Daylight Link. And I just. That was not a crash, it was just like me trying to um, turn the ship without using the thrusters. The, you know, best way to turn. So that was number two, and then there's two more left. Well, I could take the night vision off, so it's not well. It's not too dark in this area. Uplink 4. Of course they were not like in the order. <laughs> they could have done like a one pass. Uh, no worries. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, just as uh, Engelo said. Like, originally I think they said like uh, they were gonna be in game as soon as the season 2 started, but yeah. Anyways, let's hear the story, what happened to this ship. The captain told the crew the bad news. They've known for months now, but until today, it's been on a need-to-know basis. Now it's out there. We can't stop the ship. I remember telling the captain about the fault. A manufacturing issue that no one else had detected. I felt responsible. After all, I'm the ship's engineer. Like my father and his father before him. All he said was... We'll fix it. Now months on, we're nearing our destination and no closer to finding a solution. But in lieu of a fix, I believe I have an alternative. Okay, let's hear the second log. After all the debates, all the meetings and the arguing, the ship's council has finally approved the plan. So where all systems go. We're rigging the emergency pods and the life ships to carry as much useful equipment as possible. 
Command and crew have made all the course adjustments they can to get the ship close to the target. After that, we'll launch all the pods as the ship passes by. With any luck, they will all land safely, and we can finally call this mission a success. There is just one catch. Someone has to stay behind to launch the pods. That person will be stuck on board. One life for many seems like a good deal. Gene will think I'm crazy, but I volunteered to be that person. Funny, Gene's always telling me I need to step up to the challenge more to prove I have what it takes. I'm not sure this is what she had in mind. <laughs> well, the bot should be active, but yeah. Maybe it's just bugging out. Try dueling angle or something. <laughs> okay. Log number three. After weeks of preparation and drills, we're finally getting close. Only a few more days to launch. All adjustments have been made and our trajectory is looking good. I've been getting the engineers to double and triple check everything. I want this to go as smoothly as possible. We've had our teething problems, which I guess were to be expected. After all, this ship wasn't meant to do this without stopping. I'm getting nervous. If this fails... There's another thing. Jean's pregnant. She doesn't know that I know. I found the test in the bathroom. With all that's happening, I guess she doesn't know how to tell me. Maybe she's afraid that it'll affect my judgment. She might have been right about that. I was gonna tell her tonight that I'm the one. I'm not sure I can anymore. She'll want to stop me, or worse, she'll want to stay behind as well. I can't let that happen. Uh, you have to add space, Sakari. There we go. Okay, we have two more logs to listen. So, number four. Pod 12, launch, launch, launch. Pod 13, begin launch procedures. Pod 14, what are you doing? Pod 14, please acknowledge. Come in, do you read me? Abort, I repeat, abort. You were not cleared to... That was the lock number four. One more to go. Well, now we know the story of this ship. Well, to be honest, I've heard it a couple of times before, but uh, I'll pretend this is my first time. We're out of communication range now. I've been sitting here for hours, listening to the crackle of the dead signal. I thought I was ready for this. I thought I had made peace with it. But knowing that that was the last time I was going to hear her voice makes it so much worse. I 
captain said they're gonna name the first settlement after me. Nice gesture, I guess. But I really didn't do it for them. I did it for her. And the life she's carrying. This is the right thing to do. There's no telling when or if this ship will ever stop. We had our shot, and we took it. I'd gladly do it again. My kid's not gonna grow up in some tin can, floating aimlessly in space. They're gonna grow up with dirt between their toes and a sky above their head. Oh, well, that's it. So they couldn't stop the ship, and they just launched somewhere. I wonder if it's uh, if it's uh, well. I think there's planets in this system, is there? No. So it was had to be somewhere else. And shooting that does actually mean nothing. Anyways, next target on our tour will be in Thought System which isn't too far away come on S if only this <laughs> sometimes the map just bugs out and I can't select the system but there we go so go so Morton Angelo knows where to go and I don't know why I put the, put the landing gear down but <laughs> oh that sucks Sakari uh. <laughs> uh, don't worry you'll be getting uh, points just by being in the in the stream it will eventually give you more And the, uh, I think there was like a thing, if you keep chatting or stuff, it gives even more, but I can't remember. I was just playing around it once and activated it, because, eh, why not? Because we like bots. We like all the bots. So, in this system, we are gonna go to a planet 1A. Oh, oh, it actually shows the target now. So, so yeah, a crash, crashed ship. Let's go see. Maybe there's aliens. Well, probably not. Would be surprising if there was, but The infamous Arknan is online. Some people don't believe he's real. Okay. Oh, there's an NPC here. It's Sidewinder. Oh, yeah, because there's uh, civilizations in this uh, system. Also, there's geological signs, so something sort of like um, geysers, uh, fumaroles, all sorts of stuff. Oh, and of course, it's in the dark side. It's always in the dark side. I just have a, like the worst luck on the, with the um, ground targets because <laughs> most of the time I always have to land on the dark side to go where I want to be. Ooh. Too fast. Okay. Okay. What's the 
Oh no 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 we're definitely not gonna fly normally hundred kilometers. Just getting some altitude. At this rate I don't even need enemies to destroy my ship because I can do it perfectly on my own. I think I have repair kit with me, so not too bad. <laughs> so only because you want to race all the time about everything. Okay, there we go. Nope, nobody said anything about race. Turn on the night vision and the lights, just in case. Because it might be so dark that even the night mission can't see, so we need the lights. <laughs> you never know! That might be a space Nazi ship. What was the movie? Was it Iron Sky? Okay, let's. Yeah. Good old Finnish movie. It's the same guys who made the uh, Star Wreck. Okay, let's see if we can land somewhere. Yeah, I haven't seen the sequel. Okay, okay. Kind of hard to find the terrain uh, flat enough to land this thing. Except here, where I did not look at first. Okay, let's go see that uh, ship. Don't think I have any knowledge about why this one is here. So, uh, okay. Come on. Yay for collision boxes. Okay, I'll just. Just sent the ship away. Hopefully, when I call it back, it will land there. So, what these wrecks usually have is some sort of like a like this cargo rack. It has some materials, quite useful, and it has uh, some tradable cargo and. Uh, Then sometimes they have like the scannable core that might have some indication of what happened to the ship. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Just gonna take the cargo rack before um, Engalo gets here and steals the anything valuable. There's gold and palladium. Could be a worth it, but not today. So let's see if we can just move this uh, little car towards the uh, ship. Yeah, there's the ship data core. So those are usually when you scan them, gives you some money, and sometimes there's a uh, like a uh, message from the pilot. So uh, there we go. Let's scan it. And we get a message. 
I uh, you, you can ask Jen how to type it. She's the native English speaker. So this one there was basically Oh okay, yeah. Um I, I remember. Uh there was a, a stream from the devs where they were telling something about the uh, how the uh, background simulation work in this game and I think this uh, was like a easter egg relating to that stream so hence the uh, secrets of simulating backgrounds are lost forever But yeah, now it's uh <laughs> Do you mean the pilot, the YouTuber? Crest ship? Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get my Cobra somewhere close enough to get back onto it. So I don't think there's anything more in this site. Except for rough terrain that's not meant for the this buggy. Oh. Some sort of some uh, reason the collision boxes seem to be worse if you try get underneath the ship from any other direction than from behind so then that's the reason why I always go around if possible anyways let's continue the tour this time we are heading for a system called Kitae. That's gonna be two jumps. Just gonna type the uh, system name for Angelo. And uh, let's head out. Maybe there's even something to shoot at. Probably not. In this tour, there's basically nothing to shoot at, except on one ship. We just happened to be there by accident. And so, how is everyone today? That's always good. Anyone being restricted by the human malware? Oh yeah, there's uh, spots in the wing if uh, anyone wants to join. And, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Let's make the jump. Yeah, if anyone wants to join, just send us a friend request and join the wing. Though we are playing in canon private group so if that's actually just for cadoneers but you can still fly in open or your own private group or solo and pretend you're with us <laughs> if nothing else <laughs> actually might refuel a bit let's 
creeping feel from the star. Jump to Kita. Yeah, I don't know, Angle, if I want to do <laughs> open while streaming, because uh, seeing it in a few other streams that t seems to attract some people who just want to join the stream to shoot someone. Well, usually the one who streams. Like, it's fun to watch, but I don't think it's fun to be in the receiving end. <laughs> okay, so... In this uh, place should be a generation ship. But they... Um, I don't know if it's if it's in here now because uh, the new um, system they made for uh, exploration kind of bugged out some things so let's try uh, from this star we are supposed to fly towards a different star and uh, select that star as a target and it should be like 2500 light seconds and I don't know if like if this bug has been fixed well, we'll see so, 2500, when this is 2532, that should be where the uh, generation ship is located. And it should be start to uh, be visible when it's 1500. But, uh, yeah. Actually, we can just slow down for a sec check the scanner okay okay they added the uh, signal for it so it's fixed yay the last time I was in this system this uh, ship was unreachable because they they did add the bug uh, the signal for it separately and in some places you had to scan the planet to see the ship because it was basically orbiting the planet but if the planet wasn't scanned you couldn't see anything in the orbit either even though it's may have been like 8000 light seconds away but yeah guess I'm glad that this is fixed yeah let's go see what what's the story at uh, the ship of Venusian. So does anyone else besides me and Angelo in the chat uh, play Elite? Well, I know you don't play Gen and Valium. But anyone else? <laughs> oh, come on, it's a good game. Yay, Nick, you're the best. Okay. Okay. Let's 
check out this sucker. I can't remember actually if I've been on this ship before. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Like, <laughs> I've done that so much. So, I usually just uh, take the assassination missions to kill like high level pirates to uh, get the like, good materials. But yeah, sometimes just uh, doing the missions is good too, and pick up the uh, material rewards. Okay, at least it gives like a nice view of the ship. No, it was not crashing, it was reducing speed. Okay, so that's the four uplinks. So let me just um, get up so we get a better view of the ship. And let's listen up to the story. So, boarding party. See. Oh, hit the play. There we go. I said, there we go. Oh, okay. This. Guess this one doesn't have a voice. Well. I'm not gonna read it. Well, fine, I'll read it. This is Officer Gant. I know I haven't made any, many of these. Uh, actually, I don't want to read it. <laughs> it's too long. Uh, anyway, get read it now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for a few moments and show the next. I wonder why the, the uh, voiceover doesn't go on. It's supposed to have it. Huh. Guess not. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to listen to me reading it. <laughs> yeah, this the guess this this ship doesn't have the voiceovers. See, Angelo? Nobody wants to listen to me reading it. So, anyways... I wonder why it doesn't work though, it's just odd. Anyways, apparently pirates attacked this ship. So, they were on their way to somewhere and when the technology improved, the pirates managed to catch up. Oh, and I accidentally deleted that one. Oh, I'm so good at this. But yeah, that's the story. There, there was just uh, they, um, they lost all the men, 
pirates killed everyone. Okay. Poor Venusian. That was bad luck. <laughs> that sucks. Having a like long distance thing and pirates come and ruin it. So, we're gonna go there next. Okay, that's 120 light years away. That's a couple jumps, a few jumps. The, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen more, that the... Uh, voiceovers are dead. So, it's not good. Yeah, at least. I guess they haven't fixed all the bugs. Jumping. It's always good to get some fuel and keep going. Um, Angelo, did you um, get the Exploration Elite ranking yet? Because, yeah, probably after all this you will have it. Like if we complete the whole thing. Okay, nothing too interesting in here except quite a bit of uh, installations. Um, let, let's go see one. Why not? Since it's right here. So, Angel, if you wanna come check the installation, let's see what it's all about. So. Um, some sometimes the, these things have like the missions going on nowadays. So let's go see if this one has one. like these nice space stations or what do you want to call them uh, yeah I don't think this one has a mission going on made of metal, so that's for sure. Okay. Ah, right, right, right. 
forgot that I actually have to target the damn thing to <laughs> scan it. Okay, let's see what it has. Oh, it could be like a pirating target or something like that. Someday we have to try that, like um, try pirate one of these installations. But other than that, there's not much to do here. I don't know. This ship has not geared for piracy. It would, it would require different equipment, and we don't have those. So, just keep going. Oh, right. Come on. Because my power plant is not big enough, I have to turn off my frame shift drive when my guns are out. And it takes a while to restart. the HIP stand for though? Like, it's probably from some star catalog, but like, what? From which one? Like, anyone have an idea? was a um, site for a generation ship as well. Maybe. Well, we'll see it uh, soon enough. Well, Engel is scouting there already, so he can tell what's in the system. Because when I made the, um, the tour list, I conveniently forgot to write down what's in the system. Hello, Winter Halo. How's it going? Okay. Oh, it's marked. It's uh, Lazarus Expedition. So, let's go see that one. Good. We're just uh, going through all sorts of uh, landmarks in the, in the game, like uh, gen ships and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Let's go see that one. This is something I've been before since we, it was already scanned, but we'll see. 
I'll pretend that this is all new to me as well. It's probably all in the bubble by being once at least. I reckon you just engineered your FSD Winter Halo. That's probably the only reason why people go to Desiat. Okay, just a few more moments to go until we can drop into that uh, Lazarus expedition. Hopefully the uh, audio files work on this one. I reckon all of them uh, Engalo. <laughs> I actually can't see how many is in the stream at the moment because uh, my uh, game window is blocking it. Oh, not too bad. Hopefully someday I have an uh, audience like 10. <laughs> One can dream, right? Okay, almost there. Just a few more miles. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Um, it was on YouTube. The uh, they were doing like the parade thing, and they uh, then somebody ac accidentally shot the uh, the guy who returned with a plasma gun, and uh, he had not sold his exploration data. That yeah, that would be so bad. I would cry at that point. <laughs> like I would probably be mad if I lost like weeks worth of data. But like three months, ah, oh, that would be just. <laughs> I can't remember the name who the guy was, but uh, um, yeah, there was like a YouTube video about it. Okay. First one. And yeah, I don't know if that was him. Like, it was like in the early days of the game. very early and the uh, they made like a video like everyone shooting their guns launching chaff and stuff like that and then one guy behind the group accidentally shot the uh, explorer guy Just... so bad <laughs> oh yeah, imagine playing three months, just jump scan, stuff like that, and then so you lose it all by accident. Yeah. Well, 
can't really think anything worse that can happen in this game. Like flying without rebuy on the big ship and losing it, no biggie. Like credits are so easily earned. Maybe if you had some engineered items, it might hurt. But all the exploration data lost, all the uh, first claims, everything just gone. That would be so bad. Okay, let's see if the um, audio files work. Dead stick. What it's about. We've suffered a critical failure. It came out of nowhere. I thought we'd hit something. Just a huge bang, and then all hell broke loose. System alarms firing off everywhere. All drives are offline. Repair attempts are ongoing, but with no success. Evidence points to one of the cooling systems exploding on a routine cycle. It sent pieces flying through the propulsion system, shredding it, chains of explosions, and... Well, the long and the short of it is the ship's a dead stick. We're drifting. No engine. No means of altering course. I guess we're lucky the power plant didn't go up, or we wouldn't be alive to make reports. Well, at least the uh, audio files work this time, so yay. Let's listen to log number two. After weeks of repairs, we have to accept it. The Lazarus is not going anywhere. So we have two choices open to us. We can stay on board, floating aimlessly in space. There are enough renewable resources for generations, but it's not an infinite supply. The Lazarus wasn't a top-of-the-line ship. There was only enough capital to get the basic ship built and stocked up for the intended travel time. We added some contingency, but that will only give us, say, another ten years. So maybe it'll be our great-grandkids that'll have to deal with the problem. I don't like that idea. I couldn't bear with it being another generation's problem to solve while we use up all the resources. So that leaves option number two. We harvest the ship and build as many usable lifeboats as we can. This thing was designed to be dismantled to make our settlements when we reached our destination. Once we have all we need from the ship, we should be able to reach a planet as long as it's not too far away. We've done some scans, and there are habitable worlds in the region that we can aim for. It'll take months, maybe years, but I think it's the best option. After all, we have the time, and giving people hope is a powerful tool. Well, I guess they had some bad luck. If only they had the repair kits with them. Okay, log number three. the life ships near completion, I find I'm sleeping less and less. I tell myself that it's nerves or excitement to all we've achieved. But those are just the lies I tell myself to keep going. The real reason I can't sleep is that I know what's to come. Even with the rules in place, we've seen population growth. Unlicensed births are increasing as people see the light at the end of the tunnel. A new hope was powerful. But I forgot it can also blind you to the truth. With our current population, we don't have enough space on the life ships for everyone on board. So once again, I have choices to make. It won't be popular, these things never are. But it will be fair. There is an old Earth maritime tradition of women and children being evacuated first. We will hold to that. We'll try to keep families together. From those that remain, volunteers will be requested. I can only hope that covers the deficit. Otherwise, it'll be a lottery for the final places. Okay, so basically people got happy and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Engel. I like what you're doing. Yeah. Anyways, people got hopeful and they started uh, doing the hanky panky. <laughs> okay. 
Let's hear the last one. The last of the live ships has launched. Each has a destination well within their calculated range. We thought it best to have multiple destinations, not putting all our eggs in one basket, so to speak. All we can do for them now is hope. Hope that they make it. Hope that the planets they land on are hospitable. Hope that they thrive and grow. For us that remained on board, there is no more hope. We go about our existence with the knowledge that we are destined to die, but that we do so, so that others could live. In the end, we all volunteered for this. That's the thing about the human spirit. We fight over the smallest things, but when it really hits the fan, people step up. This is our last log. I won't document our demise. This is not our story anymore. It belongs to those out there heading towards a new life. It's a story of hope, triumph over adversity, and how we came together as a community to give them a chance out here. This is the Lazarus Expedition. Signing off. Well, it was not such a bad story. Like, could have been worse. Anyways, uh, let's check out our next destination on the list. So we are going there. Okay, it's a bit further out. Well, 180. So, let's go see. Okay. Ah, oh, forgot to retract the hard points. <laughs> okay. Thing that the ship just decided to stay on the orbit of that planet if it was like just uh, floating aimlessly. And, uh, just remember Winter Halo to bring the uh, repair kits with you. So if you use the uh, neutron stars, so you don't want your FSD to be broken. Not that it has ever happened to me, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, duct tape is good. The automat doesn't seem to like typos. bodies and gas giant. Let's scan that one before we move on. It's uh, purple. We like purple planets. It reminds me of Kerbal Space Program and the Purple Planet. We 
it is easy to land on, but it's pain to try to take off from there. Let's say in that game the purple planet has a yeah Eve has the uh, insane gravity and the atmosphere. So landing there is like super easy, barely inconvenience, but yeah, taking off takes so much fuel. try to uh, engineer a ship that can do it. <laughs> yeah, it looks good in the uh, clips. Clips I've seen so far on YouTube. Yeah. I'm quite excited too. I wonder if the modding community is a uh, big in the KSP2 as it's on the first one. I kind of like using the mech chip nowadays. Like after a thousand launches and landings, it's I just like to press space, have a cu cup of coffee, and watch the ship go now. <laughs> Jump to go. Oh no, this is not the one yet. There's at least one more jump. Yeah, three jumps total. So just so you know, Angelo, this tour um, has like a bit over 60 stops, and we are heading for stop number six. So, yeah, we get to do this a uh, few more times. <laughs> I think I planned this whole thing that eventually it will go through the Thargoid space and the uh, Guardian space. So, and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll run out in the some of the anomalies as well. You never know. There's so many mysteries in space. I kind of wish that uh, there would be some sort of like a uh, guardian AI somewhere or something similar. Who knows, maybe there actually is, but nobody has found it yet. System, we want to go to BC3A. Uh, hey, Buster. Um, no, this is like a tour for um, everything, basically. <laughs> like all, all sorts of uh, surface bases, crashed ships. Eventually, Thargoid stuff and Guardian stuff. So, what did I say? Uh, BC3A. That, that was one. Okay. Uh, 
But yeah, eventually, like, I figured, like, after I'm done with all this, I'll post the, uh, whole tour again in the, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all old stuff, like, it's probably nothing new. But, um, uh, if you want to know where rocks lies, just ask Engalo, he knows. At least he claims he knows. And for uh, those who just does, doesn't know, the rock slicer is a uh, thing from uh, Elite Lore. It's like this mysterious planet or thing. Actually, nobody knows what it is for sure. But uh, it was like in the first elite in the story. But there's no proof that it's in any of the elite games. Okay, yeah, so you're just uh, doing comprehensive search. Hopefully, you'll find something. Are you sure Ed told you the truth, Engel? You can't trust Ed. Or can you? <laughs> Thank you, Leha Gilby. Yeah, like, um, Will is not as good streamer as Ed was. Though Ed has his own stream now, like, I, uh, I was at work during coffee break, and so uh, part of his uh, stream uh, where he did, like, this, uh, uh, like, quiz with his dad. It's quite funny. So. I think he said that he's uh, he's gonna be online tomorrow again, like about noon. Of um, oh, thanks for the follow, Codex Necro. But yeah, as Engel said on the in-game chat. Also, eighty-one is a good year. And thank you for following as well, Winter Halo. <laughs> Any chance, Codex Necro, that you play Warhammer 40k at K as uh, Necrons? Well, if you add enough words together, it always becomes a sentence singular. So, let's see. What's there? Ah, oh, there's uh, Exploration Camp JSPR003. Let's go see. <laughs> Don't you even try, Angle. Uh, 
I do know. Especially if you fly a Viper, then you definitely need the in-game sounds. 07 Commander. <laughs> you couldn't do fancy maneuvering even if you tried, Engel. If you say so. I believe in you. Scanners, there's a uh, there's an orca. Huh. Let's take it down, cause uh, hunting a blue hostile. Okay. Sidewinder. A blue hostile. Okay, okay. Shields are down. Truth. <laughs> oh, come on. You know you need more than just flashlights to get through these shields. Fair enough. Okay. Check out this camp. What's what in the pot? We do not want to say the bad words so the nobody gets mad. Oh, materials. the same thing in these bases as it was in the generation ships. Damn. 
I'm being shot at by some weird Norwegian. Damn you, more angle. Oh, I'm doing my. Oh, don't break my SRV. I only have this one. <laughs> I hate you. I really hate you. <laughs> uh, yeah, try to be on wing with this guy. Oh, you said you were hunting me. Traded for for any, some higher grade ones, so we need uh, one more uplink to get the full story. Also, um, scanning these, they will give you usually like a good amount of money. Well, depending what you think of as good amount, like above a million credits per settlement. Um, take down that asp ankle. Okay. Don't know which one I'm missing. Oh, I guess this one. Oh, I can't see him. So, leave the light on. Okay, you guys get to read it to yourself. I'm not gonna read it out loud. But there's Commander Norris, so it has to be tough. So they lost the science team ten hours ago. So basically, a guy got stranded here alone because the other people got lost somewhere or something. And he went to see them on where they went and guess nobody came back. So there might be monsters in this planet. And these are just uh, materials basically. Let's 
go see what Molan and Angelo are doing. Well, Angelo is without shield, so... Don't crash your ship too hard. Road. Well, next stop. Um, there we go. Hey, Molan. So, our next stop will be this system. As soon as you guys stop firing each other, but um, let's just take down that uh, adder for the heck of it. Oh, it's fucking mines. Come on, Jimmy D. Actually, that's the NPC is cheating. It should be mass locked in this altitude. Oh well. Just high baked out in the mass lock. Oh well. Anyways, let's head for the next system. But yeah, that's actually one thing Frontier has not been able to fix is the cheating NPCs. Okay. Finding asteroid clusters. Some unscanned stuff here. So let's do couple and just for the cash. Because uh, I have to pay for my fuel somehow. And yeah, I on engineer shields are not very good. Geological, high, high likely. Okay. Well, we're not gonna s stay. We're just gonna move to um, see what's in the Altiba system. Kind of sounds like Degba. Well, maybe it's a neighboring planet. No, Baby Yoda is not in there. Probably. Actually, I should uh, probably watch The Mandalorian at some point. People say it's quite good. remember when it came out, like, all the internet was like, uh, uh, I think it's on Disney Plus only, which kind of sucks, so, and I don't even know if we can have Disney Plus here. Yeah. 
just don't like that uh, there's nowadays so many streaming services. Why don't they just join forces and be on Netflix? Well, let's do it. Um, in here we are going for 1A. There's supposed to be something on the ground. <laughs> well, the one thing I'm kind of hoping with the, uh, the with the whole coronavirus going on and uh, people doing like working from home and reducing traffic and everything, that it would stay like that for a while. Like, who knows? Maybe. Cause, uh, Maybe working from home becomes more popular than ever and uh, reduces traffic quite a bit. But... Eh, we'll see. Why not? Who's stopping you? You know you have to rage against the machine or the system or whatever you want to say. Rage. So punch a mirror? Everyone, just be careful what you say about Norway. Or Angela will know. I kind of start thinking about Judge Dredd when he says, I am the law. Or like, I am the government. You have Dorsk. That's a weapon. It's a weapon of mass destruction. Okay, so Lookout Military Test Facility. Let's go check that out. Let's see what's the story behind that place. <laughs> Yeah, best fish that has been swimming in oil, huh? The Norwegian oil. Yeah, I know. It's all the Norwegians ganging up on me. It's okay, I'll just... Go hide in the sauna. If I didn't have to go to work in the morning, I would wouldn't mind having a few beers. No. And again, it's all, we're landing on the dark side. Let's 
happens way too often. And there's an um, there's an orca here. <laughs> Lucky you. This facility. Let's see what's what in this one. Step one, scan this thing and there's um, skimmers. Incoming message. Okay, guys are shooting the orca that apparently escaped. Whoop, what the heck? <laughs> Where did that skimmer go? It just went like... <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, they really fixed lots of bugs on the last update, I think. up again. Well, I'm just going to take this one. It's just... I think they're all underground now. Oh, they're hiding from Olan's plasma fire. Just like smart. It's not a bug, it's just a very advanced AI. Just, uh, don't break our SRV small one, so we don't have spare ones. Uplink, scan that. So, how many parts we got? We're missing three out of four. Oh, they came back. Okay, let's shoot them down. Oh, they don't even... I would have expected them all to attack me, but... No. Okay. I think I scanned that one. And this one, I think. Yep. So... It's a nice view though, about the planet. Okay. Hello! Uh, 
Okay, Angelo. We'll be right here. Trying to find the last uplink. I think it's this one. And we're just gonna pick up the materials for later. Before we read the story. So let's see what happened in this one. Okay, let's see. Oh, more materials. Let's take that. Leave nothing to Angelo when he comes back. Okay, have a nice flight, Molan. Okay. So, did I, did I scan this one? I think I did. I guess not. Oh, okay, there we go. Now let's uh, take a quick look of the story. We need some malfunctions. So I guess the schemers were disobeying. I reckon those. Control program is the issue. Okay, and I guess they so they, they, they got a computer virus. They were probably running on Windows. So they get got some sort of AI virus, <laughs> something like that. I don't know, but it seems like they. They went mad. They're killing everyone on site except us. Hmm. Well, no worries. That is the story of this base military base that got their schemers going berserk. Could be worse. Like, well, not really, but still. Gotta stay positive, you know? So, our next target will be... Will be Coal sector FL slash, uh, dash X space V17 dash 3. That's a mouthful. Just um, see where it is. 86 light years. Not too far away. And um, I think we have to wait for Angelo. He will catch up. Let's just go ahead and. Uh, escape the planet's gravitational pull. Higher, so we can get to full speed. Welcome back. How many jumps is it? 
three jumps. Okay, I can tell for sure that the next target is not the generation ship, but other than that I can't remember anything what it's gonna be. Scan. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, so for some extra credits. Uh, it was a uh call something just uh, join the wing and the uh, I'll try to send you the message uh system in the message there we go frameshift drive charging <coughs> I'm just tr trying to drown myself in the <laughs> in the water class out of water and nicely breathe while drinking, so good for me. Get to any stations, well, systems with the station, you should repair your ship and go. Okay, I guess I've been here before. Because it's already scanned, but. Um, yeah, it's been so long, like, I had a very long break on this game and. <laughs> And again, these things have been found it years ago. <laughs> I, th I think the um, this one was something I found on my own. Kind of remember this name. Like I wasn't the first one to find it, but I had not read it online or anything. Yeah, again, let's just pretend we're here for the first time ever. Not that it makes a difference since I can't remember things. <laughs> so. If I remember correctly, the whole tour thing, when it's like 
completed from start to finish. It was like a total of something like 7,000 light years. Basics is like circling the whole bubble. So, it's, um, it's quite a trek, but at least there's always something to stop by to. Instead of just going into the plaque and. Thanks for the follow, T3. There's uh, plenty of ships in this area. Can't see a thing. Elite Python, Universal Alchemist. our ship to light up the place so we can actually see um i don't know you should ask him when you get here maybe th this is the the famous npc that actually answers to you you'd never know until you try Be a full metal alchemist. Oh no, that's on the Hutton orbital. That's where you get the free one. Beaches and their anacondas. Okay. Let's, let's collect the materials again. Maybe after all this trip, I have enough materials to um, engineer a ship. Scan. Or was it this one? Okay, yeah, scan that one. So, how about this? Uh, Molan said he needed to go s swap a ship. So he uh, went to Raxla. Can't keep the secret for yourself. That would be me. Okay, let's see. Okay, can I get out? We got all the things. Let's see if there's any more materials to pick up before we uh, take a look at the story. Oh, we want this one as well, because it gives the, um, the, uh, encoded materials and the money. Oh, there's materials. Leave nothing to Engelo.
Oops. him again. The crazy driver. Okay, let's uh, take a quick look at the story. Uh, this way you can delete. There we go. Okay, so... They are creating a new medicine, the mood inhibitor. Okay. They were wrong. Okay, so people get mad and started yelling things. So, yeah. Okay, so fighting trucks sounds very good. One guy destroyed everything in here, well, killed everyone, so the new drug wouldn't be used. Okay. Could be worse. Also, this is the one bug that I've been complaining about uh, maybe a couple of years now. The um, message screen, that pl nine unread message it never goes away it just stays there I don't know why it just does it it's kind of annoying but then again it has no real effect to the game it's more like a yeah just a little annoyance and the thing is I, I've tried that in, with different computers and it always does that <laughs> So yeah, okay. I think we have time for uh, one more destination. So let's see. <laughs> but I've I've been on different chairs. Okay, we're gonna go to H I P eight three two three seven. Go. And, um, yeah. Oh, there was a SRV. Oh, did I? I'm tr oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I tried, I tried. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. I'll try to raise you up to the orbit. Okay. Are you on? Can't see you. Oh, there you go. You're bouncing. Okay, I tried to flip. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can't see you now, so I'm trying to use the scanner. Okay, okay I th you're moving sideways. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Okay. <laughs> Let's just move to the last destination of the day. Let's go see. Uh, I wish I had more time, but... Oh, we should definitely try the... The one thing we did once, uh, with the Corvette, though, like, it's uh, big enough to carry the SRV all the way to the orbit. Like, Cobra is uh, a bit hard to stay on. I think there might be uh, videos still on the Commander Engalo's YouTube channel where we actually did that. Uh, if uh, anyone wants to see how SRV is taken to the orbit. This was a short, short trip. Only a couple jumps. Always good to scan one object when it's going past. This system we want three B. Okay, how far is it? Because I've been here before as well. Check how much um, cash we've been collecting. Yeah, we so one yeah one million per um, abandoned settlement, and there's a couple of the uh, other stuff. Okay, have a good one, Molan. And we'll try to fly safe. I guess I have a few um, bounties to claim as well. I'll do that someday. I think those are from um, killing the pirates for materials. Easy way to get some money while getting materials. Side 16. It's just so so much easier now since uh, all my notes they just have the coordinates written on the thing. But yeah, nowadays it's just easy. Shoot the probes and you see the location straight. No more needing to navigate with the coordinates. makes the uh, searching things less tedious. Like the, uh, back in the day when the first bar barnacle was found, <laughs> it was such a hassle. Like, we spent hours just like flying on the planet side near a, 
uh, Mero well, Merope system. And uh, then some guy, I can't remember the name, was just doing some <laughs> canyon flying and randomly run into the first barnacle. Well, yeah, it did make all the finds for, like, more valuable. Like, when we... Yeah, page, page patrol. <laughs> but yeah, like, when um, I uh, did the cannonball events for a cannon group, uh, I always tried to find some new uh, uh, geological sites or unmarked barnacles, stuff like that for the for the event. And it took like weeks just to find the locations for it and But it was totally worth it. Now it yeah. Those were great events though. But uh I haven't done one for a while, so can't find the I can't find the inspiration to create new puzzles and stuff. But yeah. It was like um, our first found, we were um, doing a uh, little video clip with um, Engelo and they, uh, we just saw this one canyon that where we want to land just to make uh, film one scene and it just happened to have these uh, magma sites it was kind of cool and welcome to the wing codex necro What do we have here? We have a we have a Type Nine Heavy. We have two Type Nine Heavies. Not wreck. It's just like and a Type Seven. They're patrolling the site 16. That one has no shields, that's an expert. Ah. Okay. Well, just for the heck of it, like, since this is gonna be the last site of the day, before we go land in and investigate, I'm gonna take down the type 7. Those type nines will probably escape. There we go. And with any luck, it explodes nicely above the uh, the uh, site, so the materials will drop right there for collection. Okay, let's uh, investigate. Is this an Inra site? It kind of looks different. Like it's a big refinery looking thing. Yeah, I don't remember either. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's been too long. There's no materials, but it's a larger site.
some weird sounds. Okay, there's materials. Oh, that this might be from the Type 7. going nuts there yeah I think yeah this might be an inner side so inra was this uh, I think it was a uh, in uh, the second second elite game it was this like a uh, anti Sino secret military thing that fought the Thargoids it, uh, I might be wrong, I've never played the other ones and I'm not really good at the elite lore, but something like that, I think. So anyways, they had these bases lying around where they did their secret experiments to win the war that nobody even knew that was going on. They were kind of like a black ops. Yeah, I think these sites were added in the um, season three. Um, one, two, we need number three. Got all best what, Angelo? Ah, damn it, he's shooting at me again. Not fun when it's you're in the receiving end, huh? Get over here. <laughs> okay. Okay, your shields are down. Hey, stop, 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 stop. I have no spare. Okay. Okay, you're supposed to stop when the shields are down. That's the, um, Unspoken rule, unwritten rule, sorry. Okay, still missing the one up link. I don't know, the big guys. You know, the guys. Okay, so we got the secrets and lies story. Personal log. We're in bad shape, food reserves, blah blah blah. Okay, I don't think this is an inner base then. Because I think they have the voice acted thing. Okay. So they lost their food. And there's Mr. Leon. And they're not getting more food. And... Yeah, they're being st starved to death. People 
are dying. I mean, only Mr. Leon is doing well. So the personnel was the experiment here. So apparently never trust corporations. That's the moral story of this one. <laughs> it's Mr. Leon. Not Lee. Yeah, I think um, that that it is for today, and um, we're gonna continue this trek next Tuesday. But on a Friday, around same time, like uh, 6 p.m. UTC, we're gonna start playing Chrono Trigger, the good old JRGB RBG. It's a really good one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and if you have not clicked the follow button, now is a good time to do that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know you're excited for the uh, Chrono Trigger. So, yeah. yeah. And you're welcome, Valium. Yeah. We'll continue this in Tuesday and Chrono Trigger on Friday. So, thanks everyone for joining and thanks for Engalo for actually flying with me whole time. And maybe next time Cortex Necro will be in the wing as well. And uh, it's gonna be more fun. Bye for now.